Hello, and welcome to Free Will Tarot, Libra. This is for Libras. This is your reading. What does the universe have to tell you today? This is an unstructured video. So this is a new channel, by the way. So I just started it. So I'm just kind of getting my, you know, movements or so if I sound a little bit off sometimes, I'm just getting used to doing readings on YouTube within a certain time frame and so forth. So, um, so but I thank you for coming. Me, I have I'm I'm Scorpio, but I have moon in Libra. So I relate to Libras very well. <laughs> So, um, and uh, as I said, this is an unstructured video. I mean, unstructured reading. So it's not as, you know, um, it's just to pull the energy for Libra and to start my channeling for, for Libras. Um, you can always um, subscribe, hit the notification, like, um, definitely comments. If you're a Libra, put that in the comments. If you like to put other parts of your chart, um, that's fine. If you know it, and um, so I'm here to bring as uh, light and airy <laughs> Libra energy to this reading. Even though I'm a Scorpio with like four other placements of Scorpio, but um, that's all right. So I asked the universe to show me the messages for Libra. Show me the messages for Libra. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, that's one card too. Thank you. The law of action. Get out of your comfort zone and take bold action today. Uh, the law of action. Hmm, Libra. What's happening here? Telling you to get out of your comfort zone. Okay. Yeah, maybe you've been doing the same old, same old for a little long, for a little while now. Maybe even inside of the house or inside of a, a room or something, it's like looks the same. Maybe you want to change it over, make it something more different are updated in some kind of way. But you're being asked to do something bold. It doesn't necessarily mean today, but maybe this is today. Maybe it is the day. You know, maybe this is the day and this is the message that you needed. Let's see what other messages you need, Libra. Ah, sign. If you are looking for a sign, here it is. Wow. Yeah, it looks like you are being um, guided into doing something. Let's see. What other car? Okay. No, no, no. All right. Let's go with this one. Yeah, it looks like you're... Sorry for the silence there. <laughs> I, I'm always trying to feel like, okay, which, you know, and I get these little vibrations in my gut and, you know, and I, I, I'm always trying to feel what, what energy is, what am I picking up on? So sorry about that new channel. <laughs> Okay, show me the cards that I need to see for Libra. Beautiful Libra. Okay. Beautiful souls of the Libra. All right. Which one am I shown here? I'm only going to take one. It says here, number 19, believe in your power to manifest. Breathe your creation into existence. Yeah. I mean, there's not much I can say when these cards are coming out like this. You know what I mean? The message is there. 
Believe in your power to manifest. There's an energy here to break out of your comfort zone. It now is the time. Now is the time to believe in yourself. Whatever you want to manifest, you have thoughts become things. Okay? And I know Libras can believe in something to manifest it. I mean, really, the universe is really saying here that it's time for you to do something. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but you've been maybe saying, oh, I don't know. I'm going to do it. Maybe I'm going to do it. And the law of action is saying, do it. And then here is saying, if you've been looking for a sign, oh, I'm looking for a sign to tell me to do it. It's saying, here it is. Whatever, believe in it now. Because this can come true. Okay? This is beautiful, Libra. Show me the cards I need to see. I'm not going to take that one reversed. Show me. Okay. You know what? I'm not going to use this deck. I'm sorry, Libra. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to use it because I've been filling this deck for you today. And I said, oh, maybe I'll use this one, but I'm not going to use it. And I'm going to see if the page of wands and the emperor comes back out. Because the emperor can indicate energy. Of, well, that was a reverse emperor. So it can indicate the energy of non-action. But let's sort of see what's going on. Show me the cards I need to see for Libra. Libra. Okay. I actually need those cards to come. All right. Well, wow. Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. Interesting. Show me for Libra. Queen of Wands. Okay. Oh. All right, the Ten of Wands reversed and the Tower reversed. Hmm. Well, Libra, it looks like you have um, the, the Queen of Wands here for you to indicate to you, uh -uh, to indicate to indicate to you that um, it's time to break out of your comfort zone with the Queen of Wands. Yes, there's a little mystery surrounding this energy sometimes. A little mystic energy with the black cat here. This Ten of, of Pentacles is indicating to me that there's some kind of um, legacy of money. This card's been coming out uh, in a couple of my readings for some reason. Some kind of legacy of, of money that you've built over time, or this is your manifestation in the long term. This is long term um, financial gain with the whole family and everybody's there to share in the um, in the financial gain. But the, the Queen of Wands is definitely indicating energy of action to go for what you want, to be in your beauty and your um, unpredictability, your great humor and willing to to um, be diplomatic with people fair and listen ten of wands reverse that means your burdens have come down you can drop them you're lighter now you're lighter 
It's saying now you can put your manifestations into action. You're not weighed down by something anymore. Whatever there was a tower, that tower is over now. The tower is over. You've gotten through it. Now it's time to move on. Okay. Well, let me go into the higher energies. Okay. So this is the what I call the cloud energy, which these are only, this is a, a the Serafina deck. I mean, it comes like this. It is uh, only the higher arcanas. And I use this these cards in different ways, but in, when I'm doing readings, I like to use it to see what the higher energy is. You know, the the um, higher con um, consciousness of energy that basically shines down onto this um, you know grounded energy here. Okay, it's just another level of energy, but they're only the major arcanas, so. So I asked the universe to show me the energy I need to see for Libra. Oh boy. Okay. We have judgment. Judgment. All right. So you're being called to do something much bigger than yourself. Again, believe in the power of your manifestation. There's a sign here. When it's a, the, um, I would even say, when I see the judgment card, to look for the signs. Um, they could come in synchro synchronicities of some sort, number synchronicity, some kind of deja vus. Um, but in those moments, that's when you're, you're connected to your higher self, to your spirit guides. Pay attention to those moments because you're being awakened to do something or to finally do something. World card, you're coming into a, a much needed ending and a new beginning. I even feel like this world card is more so indicating a new beginning. I don't really see the past in this energy. A new cycle is opening for you. But you can't take over the old burdens. So just drop them. Whatever this was, it's over. So let it go. Okay. One more. One more. There we are. Whoa, the Pope. Which is um, the Hyophant. Okay, and this energy is indicating, yeah, to believe in, to continue to believe in what you need to believe in, to manifest whatever it is you need. And don't allow yourself to go too far left or too far right in your beliefs. Stay grounded, but you got to trust and you got to believe in your manifestations. The power is there. It's there. It's, I'm, I'm telling you, it's there. Just tap right on into it. All right. What is the advice here for Libra? I'm not done yet, but I want to get some advice from the Oracle. Okay, wow. Okay. It says, reassess. You're being asked to take stock of your life and let go of anything or anyone that no longer makes you happy. Drop the burdens, Libra. This too, this tower. Notice who and what brings you joy and who and what don't. It's time for some life cleanup. Mm hmm. Remember, I was saying something needs a room needs to be decorated or something you need to put into action. Here's the cleanup right here. Give. 
One of the best feelings we can experience is giving to others. When we do so, we give, we feel lifted up and our lives improve greatly because of someone else's happiness. Think of one way you can give to another today. Somewhere I feel like this is where your scales, Libra, need to be, will be balanced. Maybe just to give a little bit to someone else or maybe even just to yourself. Okay, so there's some work going on <laughs> outside. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but sorry. Um, so, sorry for the ums. All right, we're going to go into the next phase of... What is this Ten of Pentacles leap for Libra? What is this Ten of Pentacles for Libra? The high event. So... Now the big energy or the cloud energy comes into the reading. These are all kind of like I call them synchronicities. Something you truly believe in related to, to a long term or long, yeah, long term money. It's connected to either family or um, lovers. Yeah. Or you're married to someone and it's about a long-term relationship. Queen of Wands. Why? Queen of Wands. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> I had to get that. Okay. Um... Okay, sorry about that. I had to cut that little part out and uh, my phone was <laughs> blowing up. So we had the four of wands, but it's reversed for the queen of wands. So that means something is not complete. Hmm. Oh no, sorry. These are upside down. Yeah, you're completing something and yeah, these are upside down. Okay, this reading was going well. It did something distracted me. Anyway, um, so back to here. Queen of Wands, you are um, definitely going to complete something. There's a breakthrough, a clarity that comes through. Something that you put into action in order to, maybe you're going to get married to someone. Or maybe this is something about your family or your spirituality or something like that. Ten of Wands. Eight of Cups. Yeah, you're walking away from some sort of burdens. Seven of Cups reversed. Seven to the eight of cups. Yeah, you're walking away from things that have burdened you. There's been a um, some sort of surprise or something that was thrown off. Thrown off something that um, maybe there was some sort of argument. Because I do feel now it's more related to a relationship. Knight of Swords. Somebody made a very quick move. Yeah, Ten of Cups. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> okay, this really broke into a relationship of some sort. Hmm. Yeah, something you maybe need to re-look at again. Okay. I'm not quite sure what that is. Re-examine. Yeah. Someone is asking you to give something to them. Give, give to them.
And if you've been a little bit indecisive about when to do that, <clears throat> it says here, it's, I, th I feel like it's now with this energy up here. Okay. Wow, Libra. That's a lot. It was starting to get a little bit deep. So um, I'm going to leave it here. Come on back. I'm going to do more videos. So don't think, you know, this is it. But I do feel in the final energy. And maybe there's some sort of amends that needs to be had here. Um, let me just do one more. I'm not going to end on it yet. I feel like it's a little bit incomplete, actually. Uh, especially since I got thrown off. I'm going to have to look into that again. Hmm. Okay. Withdrawn, single, lonely, solitary. Maybe there's some sort of separation that's happened between... Um, you, Libra, and someone else, someone that you have a um, even a marriage with, maybe there's some sort of separation. And then we have perspective, better off, happy, clear head space. Clear head space. Maybe you're having a change of perspective or perception about something. You need to clear your head. Like I said, this Knight of Swords is energy of movement, of action. So give a little bit. Reassess your actions in it and and reassess the other person's actions, but don't blame anyone with the Pope here. I feel like this is an energy of just accepting what is, is what happened, it's happened, and now it's time to move forward. Okay? So thank you, Libra, for hanging in there with me. I know this was a cookie. <laughs> reading they're gonna be like that for a minute so until i get used to it but that's okay i'm just ha i'm having a good time and i hope you have a good time i hope this message touched someone out there i don't know i didn't mean it to turn into some kind of relationship reading that's not what i entitled it but i'm definitely feeling here that um there's more to this than i have the time, the, the YouTube time to to give. So, um, but thank you anyway for coming to Free Will Taro and come on back, hit the notification, subscribe, hit the like button, put in the comments. This is Free Will Taro. You have the choice always to do what you want and may light always follow you.